Okay, so we finally made it to New Mexico. By far been our worst luck trip ever. So we have, uh, damn it, dude. By the way, don't take Interstate 40 or out of state or out of this world 40, whatever you want to call it, because this highway is a piece of Seems like there's always construction, but no construction workers. Anyway, the Jeep about came on hook from the motorhome. The weld broke on the main frame on the front of it, and the whole bumper pulled off going down the road. It was just barely hanging in there by a cable. But before we noticed that, we were all locked in the motorhome because the door latch, because of the road, all the bumping and bouncing around, the screw backed out and got hung up the latch. So we had to pry ourselves out of here with a pry bar. So we bent the hell out of our door, tore it all up. And then we get back on the road and our mirror fell off. So. If you guys know any lightning storms close, let us know because we'll probably get struck by lightning. Stay tuned here. I'd say it could get interesting, but it already has. We'll be in Colorado soon. Put all this behind us.
What's up guys? So, we've made it down into Silverton, which was kind of a stressful up and down mountain passes in the motorhome, but we made it. <laughs> now we're, we're going down here to scout in the Jeep to see if we can find a, a place to camp for the night. Look at that. Maybe oh, the next five awesome. or six nights. So you know where to go when you come to Silverton. And we might have some So far, this is our kind of terrain in here. This is absolutely yeah. beautiful. So. Got the river right here. It's trying to, but that no, it looks like this side. Oh, yeah. Says it's still not loud. I just came through here in the motorhome. What's up guys? So we have our tr our trail, or this is our road in and out of our camp. Our camp is on this side of the mudslide. <clears throat> we drove down here to go into the town of Silverton so we were going to eat some dinner. And you can see we've got a huge mudslide across the road. So, there's a lot of people behind us. We're waiting for the county to show up, maybe with some bulldozers or something, and try to get us out of here. But our camp and our motorhomes and everything is stranded on this side of the mudslide. We can't even get to town. So literally, we just pulled, we literally just got camp set up what, like a half an hour ago. Like we would have been driving through here in the motorhomes. So here we are. This trip has been one to remember, that's for sure. And on the way down here, my Jeep went into limp mode for some reason. So gonna have to figure that out. I wonder if that mudslide tore the power lines up. Can you see me in there? Yes. What do you think? Can you see out the window in the river? Yes. You can't good? see the river. If you stand right over there by your mother, you probably could. I see the river. Yeah, but both of us, just me and the river. Yeah. Stand right, right over there. I can see you in the Move right over there a little bit, I promise. It's going to be a better shot. But, right, yeah. Now you can see down that river. Can't you? All right, well, we just got back from the big mudslide down there. Since we can't get out of our camp, we're stuck out here on this dead-end gravel road. We're going to make some tacos here and hang out. Elon's all freaked out. <laughs> all wigging. Now can I close it? Yeah. <laughs> Mine shaft on this side, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> 